Hi, and welcome to Accelerus Presents. I'm Pete Squayarello, and today oh, I'm... Sorry, everybody. Yeah, okay. Hi, and welcome to Accelerus Presents. I'm Pete Squayarello, and I'm joined today by Dave Florak. Hello, Dave. Hey, Pete. Today we are going to continue our series, a tour of the Microsoft System Center Service Manager Console. We are at part 8 of 10, and today we are covering configuration items workspace, and remember that you can learn more about service manager implementation and training at Accelerize.com. Take it, Dave. Thanks, Pete. So a configuration item, it's anything that you need to manage. It's worthy of management attention. It makes up part of your service. So that's things like servers and computers and printers, and you see, you see all the different categories here. Uh, over here, the top level thing, the Uber thing that you're looking to manage is a business service. These are typically in service manager defined over an ops span as um, distributed applications and pulled in. You can manually define them in uh, in service manager as well. But it's, it's great to take that path as well. So uh, that's what configuration items are. Um, they get pulled in and populated by your Active Directory connector. You can modify them, add to them in service manager. So we just talked about what a business service is. They're the, they're the top line things. They're, or you can think of it as the things that your a customer, an end user, would recognize as the services provided by um, IT. So things like messaging and collaboration services, uh, things like um, this side support, um, moves, outs, and changes, not things like DHCP in the typical organization. That's a component of a service, not a service itself, uh, but a rec that user might typically recognize. So when you look here at configuration items, Look, it's, it's stuff pulled in from Active Directory. All Windows computers, computers with active change requests, computers, and this is the, this is the beauty of the integration here. You pull these kinds of things in from Active Directory, from Opsman, Configman through the connectors, and then you can strap them to workflows. So when the status of this computer changes, when its desired configuration isn't there, or there's a critical um, high severity incident, then a, a, you can launch an incident uh, workflow. Or you can grab a whole bunch of these and, and set a change request because you know that uh, some new management pack acceptor is, is required. Okay, so there you see um, you know, all Windows computers. You can all look at printers. We don't have any printers defined in this AAD, so they didn't get populated over here. Um, and then there's software. What software you have in your, in your organization? Um, the computers. And again, all of them, the ones with active change requests, these are the out-of-box filters. You can very quickly zero in on um, which of the um, computers are involved in changes. Let me look at all software. Um, here we've got everything from uh, a speech language pack to uh, Office Communication Server 2007 R2. That's the software in your environment. Um, and then patches, right? Software updates. So you see what we've got out in our environment here. It's all listed there. You can have a look at it. But what can you do with it? Well, you can create a change request relative to it, you can create a related incident, you can remove items, restore items, and that's what you can do with the things uh, that are in the, um, the center pane. Okay, and then we have users. Hold in through Active Directory. Active Directory users in groups. So you see their usernames, their first names, their last names. Um, and you can modify this, this content in here. You can create an incident for a user. Um, you can create a related change request. Um, that's all the things that you can do in there. So that is the um, configuration item with workspace. 